Hi, my name's Gary Bell. We're at the Contender Fight Academy in Stockton. Um, just with my son now, Kai. I've uh, got Tomo in the background training. I've got Andy around the corner, Andy Liddell. He's fighting a couple of other fighters, and uh, I've got Jamie Bates down the day doing some sparring. Boom, straight up, right? Again, so he kicks, back, a kick, yeah, see? <laughs> got him there. He, uh, he's looking to get into the sport. He's, uh, a lot of good local gyms now within the North East. The North East now is, is massively strong for the, <clears throat> for the for the K1. I know I was one of the first to bring K1, the style of it, to the, to the North East. And uh, obviously t Tony Cunningham also, he was another guy. But there's a lot of gyms now are getting more involved with the K1. It's, uh, it's, it's getting more respect now as well from the, from the Thai boxing scene as well. They're sort of linking together better as when I, I felt years ago it didn't gel as well. And now everyone's working together because they are pretty close even though they're not of the styles uh, but no I feel this, the sport's grown and I'm, I'm happy with it and I, I believe I work hard myself personally in making the sport grow with, with contender promotions with my gym uh, with, with contender promotions I actually only ever put it's full K1 event there's no tie on there there's no boxing there's no MMA it's just full K1 we go by the official K1 rules and that, that, that's the way I like it and I, I think it's uh, it's good just to have that the, the full skill set on on one show, so people can showcase the the full talent. I do have from amateur, semi-pro, and pro. I do have them sort of stages where they can build up, but I try and give them the, the, that platform as well to take them further. With obviously the contacts they've got to take them onto the uh, bigger, bigger stage. Uh, if you say, you'll kick as hard as him one day. I'll kick harder. What? What's he saying? I can't hear you, but I'm knocking off. Got a nice face to punch, Annie. <laughs> I wouldn't mind punching this face. <laughs> cool. Uh, short of distance in it to travel as well for the for the fight, but it's also great for the footwork. Not good for people like me who aren't fit. Because <laughs> I can't move. Mm. That's, why Andy's less, that's why Andy's less tired. <laughs> but Andy's got a big fight coming up. He's fighting on the road to glory. Eight man tournament. If he uh, wins or even gets second place. You get a two fight contract two fight with Glory. glory. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a shame, fellas. Um, Jamie Bates, yeah. Yeah, Kev Jamie Ward. and Kev, yeah. Kev Ward. Is there any predictions or any Could go either way, yeah, I it's, think. A it's a tough fight. Kev's a tough fight from both. I think Kev's a tricky fighter, but so, so is Jamie. I'm interested to see how the two styles mix. So, I think Jamie's a bit more powerful, but. Yeah, Kev's, Jamie, Kev's yeah. more evasive and yeah, like Kev, Kev, fighter, every time I've seen Kev fight he's very hard to hit especially with a clean shot he's a, he's a tricky character Kev well, saying that Jamie, Jamie is Jamie's fought on like super combat uh, he's doing massive full contact kickboxing career Jamie yeah. I remember seeing Jamie which I'm a lot older than Jamie but I remember seeing Jamie as, as a kid coming up like as if my young kid was coming up my, my boy Kai right. so he's, he's come a long way yeah, so Kai's been training since he was about four. Uh, he's now fighting Nicky Olskin's son. Nicky Olskin's a glory fighter. He's like a legend in the sport of uh, the K1. Uh, I think he's ranked number one in glory kickboxing. So he is the top of his game and uh, he's still an active fighter now. His son, Gerald Olskin's uh, age 10, same as my son Kai. Uh, this fight came about off a friend of mine, Tony Cunningham, who's running the home show. Uh, this is a big fight for Kai. With have been on uh, the Infusion Live, so I know it's going to be filmed, so it's a massive opportunity for Kai. So it's probably the equivalent of fighting somebody's son, maybe he's like Chris Eubank, as if you were fighting Eubank Jr., so in the K1 world. So it is a big opportunity, so Kai's been training hard for it. So at the end of the day, he's just, a, he's just another kid. Yeah, his dad's a legend, but we're going there to win. We're from a, a good, strong gym in England, so coming. He's born into it, obviously I've had my, my, my gym for years, so from 2009 I've had Contender, so Kai's 10 now, he's, he's just, he's born into it, so 
from from day one has been a baby. He's always been around it. He's lived and breathed it. Even when I was sort of fighting, he was still there and, and seen it. Same as my, my brothers, and he's obviously around the fighters all the time in here. He's got his friends that fight. Uh, a couple of the guys in my family have fought also. So he, he's, he is around it. It's in, in his blood. So it's not like he's just uh, jumping in to, to fight it, but obviously I know Nicky Olsken is exactly the same. Obviously he's a lot more Nicky's a lot more high profile than obviously myself. He's achieved more in the fighting world than what I've achieved. But saying all that, uh, I still believe I'm a good trainer, guys. All the foundations have been built right for him, and it, it is going to be a tough fight. But we were coming to win. We're not just coming to step in there to build Nicky Olsken's son up. So Kai wants to be the top star of the. K1 himself and be fighting on the likes of Glory and Super Combat and Fusion etc. I've run the Contender Promotions events, uh, we've been going for years now. I've I've done a lot of big things within the promotion. I've worked with the likes of the Voss Gym. I've worked with Super Combat. I've uh, brought lots of international fighters over. Uh, I've built obviously my, my fighter Thomas. I've built him up. He's now ranked really high in the UK. I think he's, he's third now. Uh, he's, got, he's got some really good fights just from fighting on the, on the contender circuit. And even again in uh, May, we're bringing a, a Dutch team over again. Uh, Thomas will be, it'll be the first time actually Tom has fought in his hometown for a, a good while. I think it's over a, over a year and a half. So he'll be on the bill. Uh, we've got Andy Liddell, he'll be fighting on the bill again. He's fighting uh, Ethos from uh, the Scorpio gym in Holland. So looking forward to it. It's going to be a, a good a good fight. It's going to be a great night. Obviously, we've also got the Joya K1 League with the cell where the juniors will be fighting on the daytime. Uh, Kyle will be on this also, one of his teammates, Stevie Weldrake, he'll be on there. So he's another kid to look out for as well, Stevie Weldrake, top kid. Uh, we've got Tony Timmons, she's a female fighter of mine, she's age 13 now. She's on the up and coming also. So, got some good, kid come, uh, good kids coming through the rankings as well, within my own gym. Uh, but also, we, we don't just think of our own fighters when we put the shows on, we put guys all around the country on. Or, from international fighters and we give our fighters, the local fighters, a chance to fight in these international guys to build the records but also get a international win on the record and take them a bit further with the, with the contacts that I deal with myself. <laughs> I don't want to speak. You don't want to speak? Speak. I don't know what to say. Just think, how, how do you think your training's gone like to the fight and what do you... He's obviously been training with a, a friend of mine who I train with, Craig Willis from Hanuman Thai Boxing. Uh, Craig's been helping Kai out with his uh, pad work set. You've been there today, haven't you? Yeah. So, and he enjoys training with Craig, he just been, does it like twice a week. Uh, and obviously Mark, my, my friend, the, the pad guy who was down the gym, who was training Jamie and uh, Tomo on the pads earlier. Uh, he was, he's a, he helps you a lot, doesn't he, Mark? Mark, yeah. So, Mark does a lot with uh, Liam Harrison, I don't know if you know Liam, he's from the Bad Company gym, he's Yakko champion. Yeah, was so, he on the um, was he on the the tanko card last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's Liam. Yeah, so yeah, Liam, yeah, Liam's uh, good friends with Mark. So I'm good friends with Liam myself, and <clears throat> obviously with Mark training with Liam, he's Kai's been learning a few stuff. What he's picking up off of Mark, which Liam's been showing him, and it's good. You've actually trained with Liam before, didn't you? But yeah. not as much as what what we'd like to. Obviously, it was a while ago when he trained with Liam. So we've had uh, big stars this year, we've had uh, Melvin Manoff, I don't know if you've heard of him, Yeah. Uh, MMA K1 superstar, we've had him, uh, he's done like seminars here, so you've trained with Melvin haven't you? Yeah. I've had Ernest the Hoost here, uh, he's like, to, to me Ernest was like one of them guys I used to watch as a kid no, on the yeah. telly. Mr Perfect? Mr Perfect, yeah, just yeah. Uh, sat watching it, watching on Eurosport and all the guys in Japan fighting in the massive uh, Tokyo Dome, I used to watch all that and that's where all this has come from, all my gym, everything you see now today from what I teach in the gym, oh, it's all from them them sort of guys, so cause I, I really do like the, the sort of Dutch style kickboxing, it's, it, I favour that more over the, the, the Thai sort of kickboxing, I think it, it fits in more with the sort of K, K1 rules, it, in like my, my opinion and that's what I sort of try and bring it to this gym. We've also got a, a seminar coming up on the 1st of April uh, with Gago Drago and he's a, he's another K1 uh, superstar 
so he's fought in all the K1 uh, world maxes. He's another Dutch fighter. Uh, he's a like the style of him, the way he comes forward, and the way he's got some uh, awesome kicks. So he's a he's a funny guy as well. He's a proper character. So all my guys, or anyone in the northeast who wants to come to, to my seminar, on the first uh, thirty pound for the adults and twenty pound for the for the kids. Yeah. So we're going back with that Kai trains all the time. Kai's favourite fighter. Don't you heard of Bad Hari? Huh. Yeah. So like he's actually a walkout song in there. So he's a. Uh, he loves Bad Harry. We've been trying to get Melvin to send him there uh, because Melvin's good friends with, with Badder. So and obviously I'm quite good friends with Melvin. I'm trying to get him to send uh, a good luck video to, to Kai. So he's always watching his videos, he aren't you? He's not in jail yet, I don't think. Oh. <laughs> so how do you see your fight going, Kai? With uh, Gerald Holskin? Just probably gonna win. You, you're probably gonna win? Yeah. yeah. Are you scared of him a bit or No, he's just another boy. Look in, the, look in the camera. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey. He's like, he's like, because his dad's like professional, doesn't mean that he's like better than me. Does it? Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's it. Because there's a, uh, if you want to be a superstar yourself, you have to beat anyone who's in, in sort of front of you, isn't it? So yeah. he's just, he's just another boy in front of you, isn't he, for you to get where you want to be. So we lose our draw. Like Kai's gonna come in and, and fight hard, aren't you? So and you, obviously, you're going to win. Domination. Yeah, you, want to win. you got to walk. Domination. Domination. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, guy. Ernesto Host here. Lots of luck for your fight against Geraldo. Make it a good one. Guy, my friend. Good luck this weekend. Bombastic. Do your thing. Bam, bam.